Welcome back every one of my point and click community for people with no to limited IT experience. Now you guys, if you watch my channel for a while, you probably know that my NAS network attached storage went down and yes, getting another one, not a new one. For the time being, I connected a Western digital drive to my Asus router. Now today we got to go through the whole setup to show you how easy it is to set this up. We all probably have old drives from laptops or even desktops laying around. So I figured why not try it to connect four or five of these old drives to one single router and make a NAS out of it. Yes, it's not a real NAS, you cannot do RAID, but we try it anyway. We have so many disks laying around. So I think we just connect them, mix them up, all kinds of different drives. We will see how many we can connect. Now a friend of mine said, just plug in a hub, right? A USB hub. Well, the Asus router I use, it's an AX58 and I have here old USB 2 hub. You cannot use that because you would overload the router. It has not enough power to power all these drives. So I went to an online store and just ordered a powered hub. And as always, I'm not going to endorse this product. I'm not gonna get paid. I'm just gonna try it out and we see how it works. Now this is a seven port USB 3 hub. And apparently each port is powered. So it has not only one charging port, but each port has power. We will see how that works out. We will see if it's enough power to power three, four or more drives. But first we gotta install the drives into external cases. And these are non-powered for these laptop drives. So we put them all together and now let's get started. Start a little bit with the configuration first to get that router ready. And for the testing purposes, I don't use my AX router, I use an old 66R or 66U, but the user interface is the same, so you can follow me. And I say it again, this is not for IT professionals. This is for people like me with absolutely no IT experience. If you never change the IP address of your router, it should be the same as in the beginning. That's the 192.168.1.1. Next, you probably have to enter your username and password. Select USB application on the right side here. Depending on the version of your router, you probably see more USB applications there. Select media services and servers. Now click on your network places tab. Set enable share to on if it's not already on. Everything else you can leave at default. You might want to change the device name if you would like to, and then hit apply. Now we create a new user account. Click the plus sign. In case there's something in the box, just delete it. Type your new username in it. Then you create a password and confirm the password. Click add. Now that we have created a new account for our shares, it's time to put the hardware together. Let's uh, unbox that hub and get it all together and see how many drives we can get on there. Let's see. Oh, instruction. We don't need instruction. We never use instruction. That's apart from that power supply, I guess, so they can make for different countries one power supply. Yeah, it slides right on there. What else we got in here? USB cable. Okay, let's put that power supply together.
on that USB hub it is only a symbol for one port what has a power symbol on it but I think that port is for charging is higher uh, power than these other ones but apparently they are all powered so we will see first plug the power into this hub Next, I plug in a USB connection. Now just look on the bottom where it says USB. It wouldn't fit anywhere else. And now we plug in the USB port of our router. And see what happened. Now we connect the four hard drives. And I also connect uh, Western Digital My Book to it, so five drives in total. As you can see here, there are five disks connected to one USB port and ignore it, it's USB 2 because it's only an old test router. Let's click on USB applications again, media services and servers. Um, select our network places tab. And here we can see all our drives. Now click on the little plus sign and expand the first drive. See what's there. It's disk one, highlight it. And we create a folder on that first disk. So we go to the right side to the plus sign. And here we enter the name of the folder and just click add. Next, we have to give the user we created on the beginning of this video access to this folder we just created. So we click on that, select the user on the left side here, and give full read and write access. Now we just hit save, and that should be it. Now, to confirm that we have access to that network share, we open our file explorer. Now we type in two backward slashes, followed by the IP address from our router. Here should be the 192.168.1.1. And it will prompt us for a password. That's the password. And user we created on our router. Now here you can see all the different folders. They are on all the drives, on all five drives connected. Now we just select the folder we created and I would say just create a text document just to verify that we can access the folder and can write to it. I have created on the router two folders, Wall 1 and Wall 2, two folders on separate drives. Now let's just pick the Wall 2 folder and create a text document in there to see if it works. Now that we are almost 10 minutes into this video and I have to tell you, I had the wrong microphone selected in my application and that's why it sounded like I'm talking into a bucket or into something hollow. Well, I'm one of the point and click community, somebody with no IT experience as you can see on this video. Okay, let's move on. So now we select the VAL3 folder, what's on a different drive, and I just create another folder inside this folder just to prove I can write to this folder. If I can write to it, 
I can read to it because I have read write selected. So let's create a folder in here. Yep, and it worked. I guess it worked. Everything seems to be working. All we need is a USB powered hop. Make sure all the ports are powered. A couple hard drives and we can build a decent size NAS for us. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. To the end, I apologize again for the bad sound. But please consider subscribing to my channel if you are not a subscriber yet. It really helps me out and I appreciate it very much. Hit that notification bell and give this video a like. Even the sound was not good, but the video part, maybe you got something out of it. Thank you so much. And because it's the season, I hope you have a happy new year. See you in 2022.